So we're very pleased to have been awarded this grant from SEPI. We have many years of experience working on measles virus and our partners in Paris have many years experience working on measles virus. And quite simply what we do is we take portions from the SARS coronavirus, little pieces of the genetic sequence which makes the coronavirus and pop those into the measles vaccine. And what happens whenever we take this genetically engineered measles vaccine, which has little bits of the SARS coronavirus, whenever we inject that candidate vaccine into a person or an animal, as we do the trials, they should make antibodies against measles because that's what measles vaccine does, but they should also make antibodies against SARS coronavirus too. And that means that if that person, that vaccinee, met the virus in the real wild world, they would have the antibodies that remember what the SARS coronavirus looks like and they would be ready and primed for action. That's the basis of vaccination. So by April, we will have selected the optimal vaccine candidate that we're gonna push through the process. We will have established the animal model of disease by possibly May, June for certain. The manufacturing will be taking place in Europe of that vaccine candidate to make clinical material. That will be August, September. And then November, December, the material will be produced and ready to be tested in a phase one trial in Europe.